From the AccuStats Arena at Caesars Southern Indiana, it's the 2023 Derby City Classic and the 24th edition of the Pocket Billiards All-Around Championship. Thank you very much, thank you, thank you. Pool's most exciting event is proudly sponsored by Diamond Billiard Products, Simona's Cloth, and Aramuth. And we'd also like to recognize our great associate sponsors from Outsville and Master Chalk, along with the best tournament direction team in the country, Bad Boys Billiards Productions. Before we introduce the players one more time, we want to thank Caesar Southern Indiana for being our host for many, many years now. I think we're into 12 or 13 years with them. And also to each and every one of you great and loyal AccuStats and pool fans out there who have made this the most prestigious event in pro pool. Thanks for being part of the DCC family. Let's play some one pocket. Okay, this is round number three. 429 players entered the one pocket division. There are approximately 275 players left. Let's introduce our competitors for the round three match. From Oshkosh, Wisconsin, a two-time member of Team USA's Moscone Cup and a former Kremlin Cup champion, sponsored by Predator and Jam Up Apparel, it's Tyler Steyer. Thank you very much. His opponent from Olathe, Kansas, a former Derby City Bank Pool champion, also a former UJ Puckett One Pocket Memorial champion, among a long, long list of accomplishments. Sponsored by Mike Durbin Custom Cues, kindly welcome David Matlock. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, please go ahead and lad, if you would, for the break. I'm going to send it up to the commentary booth right now to Mr. 400. No, he's Mr. 626, Mr. John Schmidt. Take it away, Jay. <laughs> Hello and welcome, pool fans. Mark Wilson here with John Schmidt. We got some one pocket Schmitty. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you. Yeah, thrilled to be here. You know, this is to me a very interesting scenario here, Mark. Dave Matlock, uh, to the younger viewers, uh, this guy is a real legend, as talented as anybody that's ever lived. And if you would have told Dave 20 years ago he would be playing a match with a glove on and an extension on the back of his cue, he wouldn't have believed it. Now, Tyler Steyer is used to this arena, being on camera all the time. And Dave, I don't believe, has got to play a big, uh, you know, TV arena match lately. So it'll be interesting to see if he gets comfortable. But I actually would make him the favorite in this match because I would venture to guess that Dave Matlock has seen 100,000 racks in one pocket in his life, and he knows what he's doing. Oh, yeah. I watched him play a match in Bank Pool the other day. You know, he has a banner here where he won the Bank Pool. You know, tournament. I didn't know that either. That's, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I think he's a very good three cushion player, too. Um, so Tyler's going to have his hands full with this guy. Yeah, not only is he a very good three cushion player, he's probably the best of the pool players with the exception of Efren Reyes. Yes. And, you know, I want to give uh, a compliment to Dave, and, and I think this. This term is kind of thrown around too lightly. Oh, he's a good guy. And Dave Matlock is maybe the classiest, nicest person you'll ever deal with in pool. Um, complete gentleman, win or lose, and I'm a big fan of his. There you go. Looks like he's going to wiggle out of the break nicely. He has the most beautiful wife, too. He, oh, she, okay. she was a, a newscaster in Kansas City. I and see. Uh, she was on the air for many, many years. Oh, Just wow. Stunning. I yeah. Oh, stunning. Articulate and right beautiful. On. Yeah, really. Brunette. Yeah, he's aged great. I mean, he looks the same. Last time I saw him was in Mobile, Alabama 20 years ago. He looked exactly the same. He's having a little trouble with his knee, he told me. Um, you know, and so that's, you know, obviously you got to hold still playing pool, something that, that you talk about when you teach, and I, I agree completely. When my legs are strong, I feel like I can play better because I hold yeah. more still. So that could be an issue for him a little bit. But he's in big trouble early here. Not easy to take a foul either. No, no. Well, he's going to have to execute whatever it is. This, this is going to be delicate and it's going to be dangerous. Man, I do not see how he can get safe here. I, I really don't. 
Oh, nice shot. And I see that's gutsy right there to play a little click, click, click off three balls, and he did that to perfection. It looks like he might have denied uh, Tyler the access to the top side or the bottom side of the six ball. Right. Like blasted to the stack and drag. So Tyler can bank the six on the two and the three. Yeah, I like that, Mark, and get the cue ball up behind the stack to cover your position. Yeah, just like that. Nice shot. Yeah, Tyler knows what he's doing. The younger players now with YouTube and all the live stream, and they get to listen mm -hmm. to somebody like Jeremy Jones. I mean, they know all the right shots and shoot straight, which is, you know, going to cover a lot of ground playing one pocket. Pocketing balls will win a lot of games. Yeah, you know, David's in that spot where maybe he has to think about Put something on his side. Yes. Wow, he is in big trouble here. Bank the five into the stack and uh, no yeah, good. It's not yeah, good. No, not just, with the six laying like that. Yeah, he's really in trouble here. Dare, if you can do that, that was beautiful. Lovely touch. I'm sure you've played Dave many times. You guys really competed in the exact same era. Always a gentleman. Oh, he's a great guy. <laughs> Tough to beat Dave Matlock. Yes. And, of course, you know, the stories that you hear that back in the day, if you could go to Oklahoma and beat him with a big ball playing on a bar table, you could win the whole state were pretty much true. And I don't think anybody ever beat him. Right. You know, wasn't an exaggeration. No, no, wasn't an exaggeration. Oh, I don't know. And if he can, can see can. this six, he might be out of the jam here. Looks like he has to go real first at the oh, six. Mercy. Oh, mercy. Yeah. Oh, that's a different animal. Oh, he was able to hit oh, it. Oh, he was. Okay, he's, oh. he's wriggled out of the break and uh, it thrilled. Was like the boa constrictor had two coils oh, around Dave, and now all of a sudden absolutely. he's got free. Yeah. I mean, the ball still favored Tyler massively, but, you know, yeah. Dave might could uh, win this game. He's improved it enough now that he's dangerous. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, what can he do? Well, I'll tell you, with this equipment and as nice as it plays, if you were ever going to bank the 10 and draw for shape and bet the game, which I think he'll look at, it, this would be it. Because a minute ago, the way the balls are laying, if you showed him this bank, he'd say, oh, I'm shooting it. I have no other option. Right. Um, right, right, but, right. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with playing safe here either. But at some point, you got to get something going. Right. Maybe he's playing the 9 on the 12. Yeah, I think so. Oh. oh, that was a nice shot. Now he's got some threats on his side. And the balls are opening up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tyler's going to have to be respectful oh. on this oh, shot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Dave knows all the moves. And... Um, this match, I think, is a pick -em. If not, I, you might even make Dave the favorite. Um, he just, he's just too experienced. Nice touch. Yeah, that, well, now sometimes that ball can wire up, and the guy will kick the 3-2 in on you. You know, you'll see Efren here. You'll see Efren play the 12-9 out of there and the cue ball billiard into the three. Well, this is good here. Yeah, that's can, lovely. <laughs> wow. Yep. Powerful. Because now you can block it with the three and get a ball over by your pocket. Mm -hmm. Tyler <laughs> tapped the table. Tyler's quite the gentleman to play himself and respectful to his opponent. And that's something I really appreciate. Pool is hard enough without having your opponent give you grief during the match. And Tyler's not known for that. And, uh, I'm a big fan of his because of that. He's and got class. You know, behind Shane Van Boning, Tyler's 10-ball break is oh. right up there. Oh, Ooh. I think his 10-ball break is as good as anybody breathing. Yeah. I mean, Tyler's 10-ball break is unbelievable. I mean, I think he's ran 10 racks. Imagine running 10 racks of 10-ball. Ugh. Unreal. Wait, well, Dave really did some good oh, with that yeah. last shot. Well, he's, I believe he's the favorite from this position this game. He's really... Change things around. Very smart shot by Tyler. 
Yeah, he's he's starting to understand the ebb and flow of the game and when to when to shoot, when to go to the in rail. I think he might have left the two. Yeah, if now it's missable. Oh, absolutely. Four and an eighth yeah. inch pockets. Yeah, nine feet away, frozen off the back rail. Yeah, you'll do well to make this. Very easy to twist this into the facing. Nice shot. Oh, a favorable little rub through the pile. And it was smart mm -hmm. of Dave to not try to include That's a stun right. or draw That's or, right. or any kind of side spin. Just make the ball and take what you get. Oh, he's shooting this opposite handed. Nice shot. Now, this would be big to win this first game on Tyler's break. That would make Dave a, a fairly heavy favorite in the match, I believe. Really? We'll see if he can run some balls here. And it's oh, Dave, you can't do that, pal. Well, I put the commentator jinx on him. <laughs> well, he, he earned his way to a good opening here. And then, oh, what happened here? I don't know. I, I'm not quite. He's, I think he's saying he fouled the ball, maybe. Oh, you know, he might have, uh, yeah, he might have rubbed another object ball, which is what made him miss so bad, because Dave right. Matlock's just not going to miss that like that. He either miscued a little or even rubbed an object ball in his backswing, and it, and it threw his cue offline. I'd like to see that again almost if I could, because I'm shocked that he missed that like that. Yeah, you got to the one place where yeah. you really weren't worried about him at no. all. No, he figured to make a few there, but, but uh, you know, pool's a tough game. You're going to miss balls you can't believe. I know I have a million times. And Tyler did something last year that was very impressive to me. He's got a table at home that's got four and an eighth inch pockets, and he ran like 181 on it playing straight pool. I mean, that's truly playing some great world-class pool to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 180 ball run on nine inch pockets is great, but on four and an eighth is. Whew. I kind of go through this thing, Mark, where I'm, I'm always thinking, well, I need the extension on my cue. I see all these tall guys doing mm -hmm. it. Tyler's tall and he doesn't use the extension. Um, and neither did, um, ne neither does Fedor. He just holds the cue right on the very back, and he's probably 6'2". So, uh, <laughs> Most pleasant guy. Right. Oh, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. As he beats you 11-1, just does it with a smile, totally polite. Oh, boy. Well. He missed that. Ball. Caught that a little heavy. Long yeah. You know, uh, <clears throat> Fetter, he lost in the 10-ball ten, ten tournament, mm -hmm. and then we had lunch together. And <clears throat> naturally, it hurts to lose. No, but sure. Yeah. He was the most smiling, pleasant. Oh, yeah. He took well, a loss like yeah. a pro. I mean, he's lost like three sets in the last four years. Yeah. I think he's going to be okay. <laughs> I mean, he's, his lower back's hurting from carrying all the money to the bank. <clears throat> oh, he went for the double bank. Wow, he went for it there. He said, I'm going. Of course, he had lunch with Derek. He, oh, Derek if, yeah, if you don't smile, smile the, yeah, Derek, I think Derek uh, did such a great job as an MC here for the Bigfoot Challenge. I mean, he just lights up the room. Well, he has fun. Oh, yeah, he sure does. Here we see Tyler Big locked shot down here. on the eight. Big shot. Got to make this. That's a toughie, especially when you're trying to, you know, hold the cue ball over there. He did well. Ball count is 4-2. Tyler. Okay, nice shot. I might be tempted to give him this 11 mark. I mean, when you try to jiggle these out of there, the mm -hmm. cue ball can do some funny stuff, and then you give up three, four balls. And, right. Oh, he's shooting the eight and trying to tickle the ball. That This is being ahead 4-2. I don't know that I would do this if there was, you know, mm -hmm. hill, hill. I don't know that I have the courage for this. I like just knocking the 11 in. Wow. Wow. That was impressive. 
laid better than it looked here. Because I suppose I, so. I was thinking that he had to hit it thick to get over there. Oh, he yeah, so he did nicely. He could see it, and he knew that was just the right shot. Mm-hmm. Hmm, can't do much here. This is tricky, you know. You, you, if you nudge the one, Dave can. Yeah. Well, he didn't, he wouldn't really be able to double bank that that four. I kind of like I kind of like just rolling up and nudging the one a little bit. Something delicate. You just wait to Man. move the four on a subsequent shot. Yeah, or it. yeah, I suppose you could move the four here. A lot of times you give up a free bank, mm -hmm. though. That's right. Yeah. yeah, he knows he's in a predicament here. I, I think wait one more time, Tyler. Right. Yeah, I think I just roll up and nudge the one. There's just not much there. And it wouldn't really kill you to open up that lane for the five and get the one out four or five inches off the rail. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can leave a bank doing that, too. Um well, I, th I was mm. thinking just lay on the Yeah, one. just lay on the Yeah, don't overplay your handed spots like this because you can't win with it. You can only screw yeah. up and blow the game. Yeah, or get yourself yeah. in a deficit, uh, ball position right. deficit. Well, he's going for the three to six here. Wow. Well, this is, okay. I mean, no, I, I yeah. have to, I hate to, you know, question a player as great as Tyler, and, and that, that's not a bad shot, but boy, what if Dave rolls this in, then banks the six, and it carries the cue ball to the ten? Yeah. You know? Um, well, Dave's got a chance. If he yeah. And you were ahead in the game. You were ahead in the game 5-3. There was no reason to, to, to get froggy there, but. Good shot. And now here, he yeah. almost lays right into yes. Dave's hand, a yes. cross-corner bank like this. Yeah, I think that <clears throat> Tyler would be the first to admit that was a tad impatient there. Imagine that, a 23-year-old 20, yeah. being in a hurry to go somewhere. Not an easy cross corner, no. but the kind that Dave figures that he's going to yeah, put a good hit, hit on. Beautiful, too. Wow. Look at his speed. Look at that. Oh, boy. He's extracting uh, maximum punishment from that mm -hmm. <laughs> positional error by Tyler Steyer. <clears throat> Oh, is yeah, he this is, banking this? Yeah, I think so. I wow, think, and drawn away from the kiss? Well, I think he can just go three just rails go, back. Oh, wow. And then hit it with a pace of oh, seven. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vicinity. He's going to go right between the 515, I think. Oh, no, no. Uh-oh. There's a pocket over there. Good shot. Nice touch. And th this whole, this whole uh, problem here started with shooting that shot that you didn't have to shoot. Um, <clears throat> right. And Tyler knows that. It's not like he didn't know. He just felt like gambling a little bit and going. And we've all been there. And, of course, you know, the table conditions will dictate your shot selection. You know, with new cloth and great condition. This, this table mm -hmm. here plays so perfect that you figure they hit the bank, you know, a little better than like a wet table or something. Is he going rail first, or is he overcutting the uh, seven? Overcutting. First. Oh, rail first. Uh, oh, but see, now my my kind of thought process is when a table plays really good, uh -huh. then you have to play tighter because a sellout becomes a real sellout. Guys will run more balls here than on some old cloth wet. When you make a mistake on an old cloth, they don't damp. You know, they don't put anything on you. Right. This table here, a guy can run balls when you make a mistake or he got to his out so, ball if he makes that bank yeah so i think you know you, you need to play a little <clears throat> tighter well i'll tell you what the ball count you know you, the the double bank on the 15 is not as crazy as it looks because it's going to open up mm -hmm. um because of the count but if I, the seven would be right the yeah hands. you got to get it away from there nice shot and good speed too he yeah. took away the 15 ball removal unless dave wants to play the five off the 15 put them both on his side i like that just knock them off just send them both over by the 10 7 which he's smartly gonna do unless he can bank the five i don't think he can oh maybe yeah, yeah oh he, he was could. able to 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hit that real good. Oh, yeah. If he gets a little more speed on there, the bank straightens up a little mm -hmm. bit more. And mm -hmm. it's right in the jaws, if not down. But nevertheless, a great shot from where he was at. Because sometimes when you put more speed, now you start to bring the double kiss in. That's it right. Too, yeah, the cue know? ball moves out into the path a little bit. Ooh, he's looking at the 15 ball with inside English. And the two rails down under the five. With the ball count like it is, I think this could be the shot. But the amount of deflection you have to gauge here on new cloth with this much side spin, you figure to overcut this a lot of times. Because the cue ball is going to squirt massively. Oh, he hit it incredible, really. I mean, that was a pretty good hit. Mm-hmm. Because I'm happy to even threaten the pocket with mm -hmm. that much side spin. I don't think he can one rail the 15. No. And I don't think he should either. Right. If you can get the cue ball just to the, the end rail. Yes. You know, the far end rail. <laughs> yes. That puts a lot of heat on your man. You'd mm -hmm. like to get another ball as a threat down by your pocket or an obstruction, but it doesn't look like you can do that easily. Right. Yeah. They oh, okay. Ooh. Good shot. Okay, not bad. Not oh, bad. yeah. Dave yeah, knows all the shots. Yeah. He definitely he knows all the shots. Now, if Tyler deals with the five, there's Oof. a bank on the 15, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I think Tyler's got to try to bank this. You know, he's not going to bank it maybe in. That'd be too thin of a hit. But just get the five over to your side some kind of way. Well, here's the double kiss yeah. down there. Yeah, you got to hit this with a little inside. I like to hit it with inside a little bit to beat the kiss, just like that. And that's not too shabby for what he had. This is a cool example of, like, the young straight shooter mm -hmm. who's only played one pocket for a few years against the grizzled veteran who knows all the moves, mm -hmm. you know, because I mean? you always wonder, how would that play out? Yeah. Mm. Nice. Well done. Yeah, nice. Well done. Six five Dave, so yeah, he'd be he'd be happy to get those balls out of play, make Tyler earn them one by one. And yeah, Tyler was up in my my room uh, seeing a friend, and we were we were having fun watching um, Kong Skull Island and just talking <laughs> life and stuff. Yeah, Tyler's a good dude. We were laughing and talking about all kind of stuff. A little bit of speed and here. Yeah, you got a little soft there. You hate, to, oh, I hate it when I do that. When you get a, you know, you take a foul and it just doesn't really help you much. Right. But it's very easy to have happen. You know, one pocket's a game of touch and hitting the ball real slow. So you're going to do that sometimes. Kind of like driving the nine up upstairs, right, Mark? Yeah, just getting you it out of play. Can just shoot it at the 15, even you know, one rail or two if it's comfortable. Well, I hate to knock your action, but last year I was at your house and we played <laughs> that race to three one pocket, and boy, you paralyzed me, drilled me like three one, and yeah. uh, I wasn't too thrilled about it. You played great though. John beat me the first oh, 16, no, no, 16 no, sets. No, I didn't. Then <laughs> He's full, no, we played on his five by ten that plays great, but man, is it tough. But uh, yeah, you played some good one pocket that last day before I got on the plane. You did. I mean, I was impressed how you played. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't good. It was, oh, it was I good. I did lose the first 16 sets. Well, maybe anyway. two or three sets, but whatever. <laughs> Stay playing like this. He can cross-corner this with a Can he? Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Speed. Oh, yeah. He hit it nice. That's the best he could do there. He yeah. couldn't really go for the bank or there was a kiss. But right. Didn't look like he could expand it quite enough, mm -hmm. but he got the most out of it. Now, I'll tell you something here, you know, like a Cliff Joyner, I remember, would do with the ball count like it is. He mm -hmm. might follow the 10 in, 
and tuck the cue ball two rails up under the five. And that way the 10 comes in play and all of a sudden the ball start mm -hmm. shimmying downstairs. Mm -hmm. When you knock this 15 away, you with, might be too well, cushioning kicking. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oof. Oh, well, how'd he hit it? Okay, that was phenomenal. <laughs> Gutsy, too. Because I usually butcher that and leave a bank. That was a nice shot. And great speed control. Yeah, very it. nice. Now he's got a diagonal one railer at his pocket with the seven. It takes the ball off your side. You also want to be mindful of leaving the cross corner mm -hmm. bank here, though. So you want to leave this on the end rail. He didn't. Yeah, that, that, it, uh, you want to miss to the other yes, side. Yes, I've you want to have the it. price for this many yes, times. <laughs> yes, you leave this for Schmidt, and you can just yeah, check that, that up and you just drop it down. He's yeah, gonna make it. He's going to make this or come close most of the time. Oh, he hit it perfect. Yeah. All right, Dave needs one. Sometimes you can kick the kick at this nine, kick it in. Oh, he's able to turn this back towards his hole a little bit. Nice shot. I didn't think he could get that much of it. Uh, he left Tyler the same shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the speed there, you just got to get it down by your pocket. And uh, that would have been hard because if he hit it, if he let up on his stroke there to hold the nine, then he scratches. So he had to put that stroke on it. So Tyler's got a chance to uh, get back in this game. Really got to make this bank. He hit it pretty good. Oh, tree topped him over the 10. That's going to be useful. Yeah, very good speed That's control. That's useful. What do you see here, Mark? You He's know, in trouble here. A lot of times Oof. I play this by trying to make it, and then when I miss, oh. it misses the ball. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's well, he left it still a tough shot here, of course. But the ball that Tyler yeah. figures to make. I mean, yeah. And might even be able to kind of roll into the five and create a bank. Oh, he's th he was thinking of two rail kicking the five, which actually not a terrible idea, but it's not laying right. It can be aggressive no, if it yeah. goes with inside spin, yes. right? Yes, but go right into the five. That's the problem with it. Yeah, that's too right. Too much trying to go into the five. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, now he's got balls in play, though. Yeah. Oh, His yeah. chances of winning this game are half decent now. Yeah, this is a this is a tough spot. To beat the scratch off the five or moving the nine. Whatever you do. Oh, what a shot, Dave. <laughs> what a shot by Dave Matlock. Oh, wow, just thin nice it right in there. That was a great shot. All right, Matlock 1 0. And he gets the break, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he got out. He won the first game on Tyler's break. I mean, uh, and, and missed a ball straight in. Something weird happened there. You know, mm -hmm. he got a skid or a miscue right. or a touch the ball with a shift. So, I mean, for him to steal that game is a huge momentum shift, and I make him the favorite in this match. Uh, you know, earlier we were talking about his wife, Peggy, mm -hmm. and that it truly, much like for many of us, the best thing that ever happened to Dave oh, yeah. was meeting her. I mean, yeah. He was kind of a irresponsible, immature sure. guy traveling the road, yeah. which, you know, like a lot of us are. Oh, and yeah. she brought him to earth. And mm -hmm. Now they got grandkids. Oh, and everything's that's great. good. And he's yeah. loving life. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah. I'm happy for him. He's such a good dude, and she is too. And, and same with Tyler. You know, he's married to a great girl. Oh, She's yeah. beautiful, smart, just beyond friendly. And plays uh, great pool. And plays great pool. And, uh, they're just a cute couple. Life is good. All right, now we get to see the Dave Matlock. He's breaking to the traditional left-hander's side. I think Dave, he told me he's 69 years old. 
still playing great. This is this is fun to see. Dave is sponsored by Durbin Cues, which is really cool. Mike Durbin, he does so much for the sport. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just loves pool. He's a uh, well. He's a he's a real American. Oh yeah, he is. It's Man. a phenomenal facility too there in Central Illinois. Oh, I know you've been there. Yeah, it's, that's the greatest place I've ever seen. Are you there's kidding? There's nothing me? like it. I've there's nothing seen. like it. I mean, it's insane. Out in the middle of like a giant cornfield. I mean, just, on a one and a uh, half lane road, not yeah. even a two lane road. Yeah, I think there's no way. The, meanwhile, it's Oh, it's Neverland. Or that's right. Cool. We got a chance to bank this six with high right English and go into the 11 with the cue ball. Yep, if that goes in, he'd have been off and running. Dave was thrilled to see that not go. And even at that, it's, this is going to yeah. be tough to wiggle free. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it would be tough. Be curious to see what he does here. He doesn't have many options. You could try to shoot the two at the six, high speed, and hope for the best. But uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not sure what he's trying. Is he kicking it? Oh, great shot! Now that was crafty, and much more difficult than he made it look. Nice shot, Dave. If I'm not mistaken, somebody told me Matlock has a high run of three cushion of like 15 or something crazy, mm -hmm. right? Maybe no, it was definitely. you. So, I mean, he's, yeah. when all that kind of stuff there, he's as good as any of the American players. Dave plays great, teaches well. He has mm -hmm. some students over in Kansas City and he teaches. Yeah, I can Still believe that. Cool. I can believe that. Wow, what a freaking shot. shot. Yeah. To perfection. He didn't get much from no, it. Boy, I, that figured to really I help. think I think he's going to try to play the eight off the top of the six, or I I mm -hmm. don't think he can two-rail the one because the point's in the way. Mm -hmm. So, um, oh, yeah, you yeah, can stop shot. Just a, yeah, and the eight's going to wiggle over there by the hole. No matter what it does. If right. you just pin the cue ball to the three and That's the four. That's right. It's yeah. got to be the priority here, not making the ball. Yeah, Tyler really turned the rack around on Dave's break. Now, Dave's an underdog here. I don't believe he can see the full six ball to play safe off it. So he's in a bind here. I might go to the end rail, kick the six up to the side rail. Mm -hmm. and just try to just uh, live to fight another day. You can't do much here. Now, I'll tell you a shot that you could play here sometimes, but it's, you know, fraught with peril, as Grady used to say. You play the six, two rails off the side of the eight. The six ricochets to your hole. The eight leaves town, and you draw the cue ball two rails up to the other end if the 12 wasn't laying there. You see mm -hmm. the shot? But mm -hmm. with the 12 there, that's no good. Yeah, you hate to kick it, the six up by the eight. Right. That might be the best that's all you got from here. Yeah, that's all you got at this point. If you try to kick it thinner than that, then you can scratch. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> that was as good as you yeah, could do from I where think he was so. at. I think so. I'd like to maybe, and this is tricky here, but I kind of like going off the two and right up against the four. Um, I don't, I don't see much here. Yeah, if you, you miss that, I mean, though. if you bank this six, I mean, you're leaving him the three because the cue ball is gonna run a little. I don't know. We'll see what he does. But. Well, I don't even mind taking the foul. I mean, there. right? Or oh, he's going three rail. Okay, three oh, rail wow, the cue ball. Really? Is that what he's doing? Well, I wouldn't do that. I mean, I could see doing that, but okay. yeah, that's not bad. I mean, what what if the guy makes his three? You just say great shot. <laughs> I mean, Jason Shaw doesn't have to make this three ball, so uh, I, I actually like what he did there. Yeah, because you put a lot of heat on mm -hmm. the guy. This doesn't figure the lead to much, but That's you can right. lose with it if you shoot the three. That's right. Now, 
the shot here, if it's laying right, I believe would be to play the 12 into the right side of the 6-8, and they all go to your side, and you draw the cue ball back to where you're standing. I, I don't really like going down. Well, I see what he's doing here, coming off the 15. That's okay. The 6-8 doesn't go to Tyler's hole, which is what he's thinking. Yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with that. But I'm a fan of getting them balls the heck out of there. Now, look, you've opened them, and you left a bank. And so... um And what I was saying to do doesn't always work either, but that's, you know, a decent shot sometimes to just clear the hole. Mm-hmm. You hated to open up that 6-8, right. though. And, and, that that should have been the priority. Well, and when the table's this new, this cloth is this fast and new, that shot that Dave just played, doesn't it's so grab. hard to, like, not open those balls up. It's like playing on a little skating rink, you know? You're relying on Tyler yep. missing this bank. Yep, or, which he oh. did, but he covered the cue ball nice. Now you're going to get to see a cool shot here, I believe. He might play off the back of the 8 to pocket the 15. He's got to hit the rail first, come right off the back of the 8. I don't see how he could get the 15 in otherwise. Yeah, this will this will be a cool little shot. Wow, is he he's going to the end rail first? I don't know. Oh my god, what a shot. That is such a great <laughs> shot. He just moved every ball away. What a shot. And he yeah. did it, it, that's exactly what he was trying to do. <laughs> Incredible. Well, wow, that shot. was gutsy. Yeah. That was cool. I mean, that, that was, was really an that, exotic shot right that, there. That turned this game around. Uh-huh. Man, I wouldn't have had the guts to shoot it like that. He hit it to perfection. Tyler's going to try to bank this, let the eight slow his cue ball down off the side rail. Just like that. Nice shot. Eh, got away a little bit. Got away a little yeah. bit. Dave earned him a shot with that great shot it he was. played. Pat Fleming taught me a shot right before this match started, too. I'm looking forward to getting on a table and trying it. I want to assassinate somebody with it later. <laughs> it's a double kiss, like a double kiss. Mm -hmm. Kind of like what you showed me but it's a, a cousin of that shot mm -hmm. where you double kiss with spin and they you know yeah it's a it's a good one i've never shot it well dave needs to connect on this one yeah and then he can bank the five yeah this is missable because he has to pop this in on these little pockets yeah that's very missable that shot especially at 11 oh, a.m you know you're not yeah. feeling comfortable yet uh, we oh we yeah another look at this great takeout shot by dave matlock here it is. Jacked up, twirling. In rail with tons of right English. Twirling, factors curved. the swerve. Hits the ball out. I mean, tell me that's not a good shot. <laughs> and it's exactly what he was trying to do. That was evil. That was pure evil. Well, now, Tyler, if he tries to cut this two and go twice with the cue ball for the six, he's leaving the 15. Um, well, he's going to leave something. Oh, he's oh, cutting he's the six first and falling behind the pile, I believe. I like that. No, he looks like he's drawing it bottom right to get on the two again. Man, that is courageous. Holy cow. What a shot. Nice shot there. Wow. Mm hmm I'm always looking to hit everything one mile an hour and put it on <laughs> Christmas layaway and, you know. Now, I don't believe he'll do it, but a really cool-looking shot here, and I think it's laying right, is to hammer this in with a high right ball. The cue ball stutter steps past the four, gets to the end rail, and then arcs up into the pile. Yeah. This, But, you know, it's, it's not really the right shot. It's no. more of a straight pull shot. But I'm all jacked up on coffee right now. I want to see it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, he didn't have to do that. <laughs> but if you needed, like, seven more there, it might mm -hmm. have been the play.
Nothing wrong with that. One by your hole, and Dave's trapped. Oh, got the cue ball wedged yeah. in there, but yeah. good. You see anything here you like? You know, <laughs> no, but <laughs> no. <laughs> what what if you go off the three and try to get the cue ball behind the eight? Down it's there not terrible, and leave him like very little angle to where you maybe give up one. Yeah, I or maybe if you get it right behind the mm -hmm. eight, maybe you could really right. or on the eight that's from right. behind, and I, you get a couple balls open towards. That's you. what I like, nibbling a couple out to your side. Um, sometimes though, they'll pop the eight in and get behind those balls, but I think that's your only play here, or take a foul. But being down five to one, eh. yeah, I think he's going to take a foul up underneath the five. Wow, what in the world? Wow, how courageous is that to hit that at pace, knowing I'm going to hit the ball? Yeah, that was a subtly fantastic shot yeah. that I wouldn't even have the guts to shoot. I. And the speed he played, right? Almost no matter, you either make yeah. it for Tyler or it goes away. Yeah, and you don't figure to sell out. But that shows how good he kicks. It would have been easy to whiff that ball. Oh, Tyler's got a cadaver. He's got a cadaver in his pocket here. Uh, Dave's going to have to take a peek at that and be careful. He's got two of them. He's got the 411, whatever that ball is connected. The 11 is laying yeah. fairly good. But the 5, I mean, Donald Trump is wired to the corner there. You better be careful here. <laughs> Yeah, he's smartly going to remove it. He saw it. He's not going to overlook stuff like that. Maybe he needs to think about wiggling into the 14, mm -hmm. too, just to make sure that. Oh, look at oh, this shot. Wow. Tell me that wasn't a good shot. Wow. Oh, the seven got away. Oh, man. <laughs> it was. Yeah. Well, with the ball count like it was, I like that shot, and you just have to hope the seven doesn't do this to you. <laughs> I don't think the 10 passes the 3 for Tyler, so he can only get, get maybe 2 here. No, the 14 still oh. might. Uh, maybe or the not. 10 or the four. Yeah, I yeah, mean, it's it's not. close. Yeah, it's not easy to hit it straight on. You have, you're going to have right. to throw it one way or the other, so maybe it, that might not be a go. Just make this ball and then knock the 5 away. Oh, the 10 does go. Well, okay, that solves that problem. Got to make a good little shot here, though. Mm -hmm. I've seen guys miss this shot. And uh, you rub the three, open them all up, and the guy runs seven and out. But you can manufacture the four ball here, too. You can... Oh, he's drawing. So. Well, Tyler needs one, I think. Yeah, nice shot. <laughs> all right, one, one. Back on Tyler's break. Each player has uh, broke serve for the opponent. Dave got a little unlucky there. That seven came down and helped out Tyler. I don't, I don't fault Dave shooting that shot. I, I just... When you're down 5-1, mm -hmm. you have to do it, I believe. He made a few really creative, oh. in, inventive, uh, artistic right. shots to kind of stave off the yeah. trouble to begin with. Right away from the break, Tyler had him in trouble, and they fought on long and hard. Yeah. And he doesn't look comfortable yet. You know, he missed that long shot. Of course, we all do that. And that little short one he missed, something weird happened there. So he to be 1-1 one, one with those two balls, mm -hmm. you know, you figure sometimes those can get away from you and you're down 2 nothing. So he's right in the match. And uh, Well, the last missed ball, I don't think he needed to go all the way across. Nah, that was too that aggressive, was, that too was early. Tough. He I could mean, have just banked the five. Right. These are small pockets. They might look big on camera. They're tiny. And... Uh, that was quite missable. What a great looking arena. So well lit. Table plays absolutely perfect. The guy was out vacuuming the table before this match. Mm -hmm. They polished the balls. I mean, this is real pool. This is how it should be. So you're just looking at the stop shot here? On yeah, I, I think so. Send it down table. Try yeah, because if you, if, you, if you let your cue ball come towards the 15, then a lot of times they have a decent kick or an easy, you know, safe on you. But if you stop here, then you saw out the two rail, long yeah, two on rail, the eight, eight. That's which right. you don't want to no, do that. No, you do but, not want to do that. So you're almost going to have to go yeah, forward. Yeah, you got to chunk it forward with like a middle left cue ball. 
get the cue ball right up under the 15 if you can. Oh, that'd be fantastic. That'd be great. There. Yeah. Well, that's fine, too. Yeah, something but. along those lines. But I kind of like two rail on the eight here with a high right cue ball and going right into the six with a little pace. Yes. And a lot of times uh, th yes. this shot can get you going. You're not kidding. I mean, you know Chohan would shoot it while texting. <laughs> I mean, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, how do you do? Pretty good. Yeah, nice good shot. shot. Yeah, Matlock is really <laughs> going to have to do something to reverse while the text. Yeah, while yeah texting. that's about right. <laughs> the most relaxed one oh, isn't he? ever. Oh, yeah. I love broadcasting his matches. He just lumbers around yep, the table. Yeah, lumbers around. <laughs> Got to remind you of Smokey Bear. Mm-hmm. Look at that. See, that, okay, I've been playing one pocket 25 years. You couldn't put a gun on me to kick at that ball at that speed, but he does it with confidence from his three-cushion background. Oh, I mean, it's amazing that he can kick at that ball at that speed and not figure to just have a train wreck, you know? That's where Efren had a big advantage, too, is kicking. He could do stuff kicking. That Even though he fouled there, I mean, the speed he shot that was unreal. A lot could go wrong. Well, I thought he got a rail. I thought but he did, too, but that, I guess not. I don't know if we could replay it, but nevertheless, it was. I mean, don't you agree? Did you see how hard he hit that oh, kick? Oh, yeah. And just, like, like yeah. matter of fact, like, nothing's going to go wrong here. Yeah. I got a chance to play three cushion birds this year with a friend of mine named Gilbert. Najem from Burbank, and he's a pro caliber player, a great player. I mean, he runs 15s and 17s and stuff. Oh, wow. And man, was it something. It was amazing to watch him play. And the control, nice shot by Tyler. Even though the four, I mean, I agree with shooting that shot. It just sometimes with real fast cloth, this is going to happen. Not well, they, real I think slippery that, cloth. Right, it real, yeah. Expanded slippery, tremendously. That's right. Yeah, so. Yeah. It's just not broke in. And yeah. Because that, that, the way the outer table's probably responded. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think you got to make this, Dave. You just got to make this like a straight pull shot. Oh. Yeah, you can't have two negatives in this tournament to speed up play. They're trying to implement that rule. So they were both minus one. That brings it back to zero, zero. Great shot by Dave. A lot of pressure on him there to make that. If you miss that, you figure to lose the match. Yeah, he doesn't have much here. This is delicate. He took a look at the nine to see if the nine looks like the nine may go. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell, but then it's hard to get to the bottom of the cue ball here and not yeah, foul. Yeah, he's treetop. He needs to roll this in softly and then bank the ten or whatever that is by. Oh wow! He was able to. Oh, he was that. great shot. He figures the nine goes. Oh heck, that was a good shot. Now if he can stun up into the ten ball here and open up the six. Oh, how unlucky. That's that's pretty unfortunate as fast as this table's playing. You figure those to nudge open. That was really a lifeline for Tyler because Dave figured to run some balls there. Hmm. Tyler has many threats around his pocket, so Dave has to be super careful here. Really control the cue ball well. Oh, my God. He bet the game on it. He said, I'm going. Now, I hate to be that guy that says, I wouldn't have done that, but what do you shoot next if you make that bank? I find that interesting that he took that bank on knowing nothing else goes. I'm, I'm kind of mm -hmm. not, not sure, you know, if that mm -hmm. was the, maybe the most... You know, the the best play there. I don't know. I'd like to hear his thoughts on that or what he was planning next. No, Tyler, you're going well, you know, to maybe long extension here. Yeah. I mean, gosh, I mean, that just, that just cost him the game there. 
Yeah, I think Dave would like to shoot that one again. I, I think he's sitting there looking at it thinking, ah, I got a little optimistic there. That's what I tell my dad when he tries to make a three-railer mm -hmm. through traffic. I go, that was pretty optimistic, Pops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, now Tyler's got to do what well, he does best. Yeah, That's run balls. I mean, this is, yeah, this is a little shooting gallery for him here. He figures to get get some. <laughs> I think he figures to get all of them. Mm -hmm. All that he needs. That being said, a lot of times yeah. other okay. things happen. Yeah, pool's tough, you know. We're 1-1. One, but I sure wouldn't bet against Tyler running out. No. That's the only shot Dave shot the whole match where I go, hmm, I, I just... I didn't see the benefit of going for that bank because you only get one, and the safety was there. And so I, uh, I would think Dave, when he watches this later, is going to go, "Yeah, yeah, I probably didn't need to go there." He was just feeling uh, froggy. Of course, he's such a great banker. He might have thought, "Hey, I'm supposed to make the bank and then knock balls away too." Because mm -hmm. that's what Cliff Joyner did when he was in his prime. He would shoot a bank, and it could only get him one, but he never missed him. And then, but it allowed him to get the yeah, cue yeah. ball in a good spot yes, afterwards. Yes, yes, Right. Well, now this has gotten a little funny. He has to try to fall on the 11 just right. So he has to hit his mark here. Okay, there you go. Well, he guaranteed an angle. I'm such a coward. I'm shooting the six. I might bank the six here. <laughs> I mean, it's free, I think. <laughs> if, it's, if it's bankable, yeah. I might bank uh, the I six and saying. just fall, yeah. you know, just the total chicken. And you miss the 11. Let's say you miss the 11 and lose the game. You'll wish you banked the six. But, right. you know, Tyler will make this. He figures to make this. But uh, I lean towards cowardice anytime I can get away with it. Nice shot. Playing for three. Because he's going 7 14 2. Yeah, trying to hold the angle. Oh, we get a Got a little spray. angle. Yeah, I think he's okay. Yeah, I think he can follow through and out. I don't know about the other players, but I think this cue ball plays fantastic. It's uh, I've never used it before, but the colors of the balls are right. You know, we got away from all this nonsense where every ball looks like an Easter egg and, and colors you're not used to. Yeah. And this cue ball, I really like the cue ball. I never like the pastel colors. No. I do not like the purple the five. elephant balls and all that stuff. It made my head hurt. Yeah, this right. yeah, this is the way the ball should look and play. Uh, Tyler is using the Talm V10, which I, again, think is the greatest chalk ever invented. The ball stays spotless for months. It's just amazing. And uh, you'll get one skid a year, two skids a decade, whatever. It's, it's great. Two to one now. Tyler on the hill. They breaking to the traditional left-handers pocket. If you make a ball in the break, it spots up and you re-rack and re-break. Boy, this is always nice when you got a chance to drive. I kind of like banking the three into the 11 and falling forward behind the stack. Well, you can do this too, but the three's blocking this lane. Hmm. I like the three because you have a chance to make the 11. I think you, unless there's a kiss there, but, you know, the player can see the kiss lanes way better than we can from up here. It looks like he's shooting it, though. Just pocket speed, three into the 11. Well, that'll work. Now, Dave, 
Well, okay, that's, that's pretty nice. I'll say Dave could have banked the eight and went three rails around behind the 11, but not now. Mr. Matlock is in big trouble. I'll tell you a shot here, Mark, that, and sometimes it's all you got, is you bank the eight into the stack and you put the cue ball down onto the end rail, knowing that when he pockets the 11, mm -hmm. he can't help but just run into the three with the cue ball, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. just give him the 11. Move some stuff to your side and let him shoot the 11 in. Now, if he can make the 11 and miss the three coming off the end rail, that's a different yeah. story. But, Jay, I think you have to bank the eight into the pile and go up table. Yeah, he's just, he's seen too many games. In one. Well, he's trying to get behind the 11. Wow, that would be an awesome shot if he pulls this off. Watch this cue ball control. Oh, my God, how'd he hit it? Oh, he got a little unfortunate to scratch. He almost hit it to perfection. Um, oh, wow. Nice try. That just shows his confidence with the tangent lines and cue ball yeah. control. That's that three-cushion background, I would, I would think. Mm. Well, Tyler has to make a nice shot to get started and then come down and play position on the 3-11 combination. Mm -hmm. And then the 3 goes the wrong way, so he doesn't figure to get a ton of balls here. But has to make a great shot to start. See how he does. Beautifully executed. He might have been trying to get behind the four. Now I believe he can draw back for the 14 off this combination. That yeah, was real nice speed mm -hmm. control for sure. Tyler. Yeah, now Tyler figures to maybe get up two or three to minus one and up two to one. So Dave Matlock's going to have to pull off a miracle here. But if anybody can do it, it's this guy. In 2012, both Tyler Steyer and uh, Skyler Woodward came to Lindwood to see about going to school there. So naturally, they were just out of high school, fresh-faced kids. Mm -hmm. Their ears were sticking out, mm -hmm. and all bright-eyed. And, uh, you know, we showed them around. We had a training day. We played some pool, showed them campus and everything. Then I never said these words before. I go, uh, Tyler, I think you'd be a good fit here. Skyler, I think Pro Pool is going to be in your best interest. <laughs> I don't think you can read a book here. <laughs> Skyler was all about the girls on oh, campus. Yeah, so, I bet. Uh, he was all about that. He was having fun, laughing. And both of them great kids. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They're good natured people. Oh, can take a joke. Oh, yeah, and make always a joke. happy. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I was just talking to Skyler. This morning, yeah, he's um, he's a fun guy. Boy, you got a bear down here. Wow, that was a good shot. Knowing if you miss it, you know, it could splatter the yeah. stack and you could lose the whole game. That was a good shot. Now, this is, I like maybe coming off the five and in behind the four. You can't really mm -hmm. do much with the four. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is dangerous, trying to hit the four thin with high inside and going up into, like, the ten ball. This can double kiss, get away from you, funny. Okay, nicely done. Now look at that two ball. No, I don't think it does. Much. Yeah, really the good job the, there. The 12 might be dead to Tyler's hole, so Dave's going to have to deal with that. Yeah, the balls are, you know, what they call in play still. I mean, Matlock could for sure still win this game. So Tyler has to be mindful of all these balls being in play for Dave. And with the new cloth, it's really everything's in play because the ball running is more doable. So no lead is safe. You, know, you get some broken in cloth, wet table, and uh, you know, you're, you're okay with a 4-1 lead. Can we all have a head of hair like Dave Matlock when we're 69? I mean, he, does he look like a, a movie star with that hair? Yeah. I mean, isn't it cool? Yeah. Matlock. Yeah, dude. Matlock. <laughs> I don't think that's what he wanted to have happen, does it? Well. Yeah, Tyler.
Tyler can't tell if he can do something with the five ball, but if he can, it's uh, got to be trouble for Dave. And nudge this over to your hole and hide the cue ball. Oh, wow. So he wasn't he able to. Okay. Yeah, he, that's all well, he do. Now, Dave, now, Dave, I kind of like him. Make sure the 12's not dead for Tyler, which he's smartly doing now. And then uh, two rail the four ball. One rail, do something with the four. Mm -hmm. Maybe two rail it right towards the. Well, wait a minute. What? Can't you twist oh, it back? Yeah, can yeah. you twist it back and fall on the one? That'd be great. Maybe even get in the stack. Yeah. Nah, it wasn't laying. Oh, look at that. Look at this. How do you get that it? shot? Oh, I just nudged the one. <clears throat> Boy, it looked like it was going, didn't Boy, it? Boy, it did. What a shot that would have been. Tyler's in a spot here. Yeah, this can get away from you quickly if you don't hit this just right. He needs that same shot. He yeah, just yeah. Yeah, could have hit it good. Good speed. Oh, yeah. yeah. That Now, look. You called it. Get, it. I'm telling you, you when you're on an ice skating it. rink like this, you know, yeah. it can get away from you. And that, Dave, let's say, wins a game from here. And uh, it hill, can hill. happen. Yeah, it can happen. Combination is not the easiest, no, but it no, wins. It's horrendously if you, tough. If you make it, it wins. It can win. For, it can win for you. Yeah, this is a huge shot. If he wins this match, Matlock, he'll remember this little combination he came with when he had to have it. This has to go. This gives him a real chance. Oh, he's got a legit chance now. Now, do you like going into the 13 here? I do. Or do you just snip back and get the 15? I think he's going to make sure he gets the 15 next. Okay. But now he's got the wrong angle. Yeah. Do you do you put the ESPN stroke on this and draw <laughs> this back with bottom inside for the one, to three rails? That plays pretty good. I guess so, buddy. doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Then you can get across the table. That's you right. don't have to get That's straight right. in. Yeah, you almost don't want to. See, on new cloth, though, and I'm not saying he did anything wrong there of course but that's where i might lean on breaking into those balls like a straight pull shot because they're going to chip open you figure on the ball uh, before yeah right. and you're down you know four to minus one i i almost liked him going into that stack off that first cut shot i would cut this and go just, two cushions with yes. the cue ball at the stack yes just like that beautifully done i give him some kind of look on a bank well uh, he's done well he's right in it now now he's got to look at that 12. Make sure it's not yeah. wired. Yeah, okay. it looked wired to me. To There you go. Now we got some beans on his side. He's in action. The spot one. So four to three ball count, I believe. Yep. And the ball's favor. Well, you know, they yeah, they kind of favor both of them. The seven goes, six goes, five goes to Tyler's Hall, but he's going to rearrange them. Move the two to your side here. Beautiful. I've been very impressed. Tyler's done a lot of the right things. He's moved well. We know he shoots straight. Yeah, shoots straighter and wider, but he's learning the right moves, too. He's going to be a threat in this tournament because... Uh, he knows how to defend, and his offense is fantastic. So uh, don't be surprised if he's in the finals. And Dave Matlock has played great. Easy. Nice cue ball. Yeah. Yeah, things are getting open now. Yeah. And like you said, the balls don't really no. favor one or the other no, right now. It's no. pretty neutral. I kind of like Tyler um, following this ball in that he's standing down mm -hmm. by and just leaving the cue ball up there. Yeah. You know, I, there's no way I'm going down there and tickling them. Things can go oh, wrong down absolutely. there. Absolutely. Here you I, get I, Now, I hate to sound like one of them know-it-all commentators, but if he does anything but pocket this ball mm -hmm. that he's standing by, I'd say that's the wrong shot. And, and um, yes, he's too smart. Tyler's going to see that. His pool IQ is too high. He's going to pocket this ball, I believe. He wants to shoot at something here, but you're not supposed to. Oh, Lord, Tyler, what are you doing? And elevated. No, you, no yeah. you're not supposed to do no, this. No. There's no need to gamble no, here. No, no, you just pocket that ball. 
that you're that's down by your cue ball and roll forward two inches. There's times to gamble, mm -hmm. but you still have at least one play before mm -hmm. you have to take any risk yeah, at see? all. And Dave's going to have to take big risk if you put that ball back up on the spot and then shoot the shot mm -hmm. that John's saying. Yeah, I, then Dave's got to be the one to gamble. Well, I'm actually just shocked that Tyler's looking at anything but pocketing that ball he's standing by. Well, you can lose. No, going he's going to he's going to do what I'm talking about. I know he will. He's just too smart of a player. He's going to look and look and think, and now watch. He's going to pocket this ball. Yep, his his pull IQ is too high to do something stupid there. Thank you, Tyler, for making me sound like I know what I'm talking about. I owe you 20. Hmm. But, he, yeah, you're just not supposed to mess with those balls down there. But now when he's 45 years old, it won't take him a minute to figure that out. He'd have mm -hmm. done it in one second. But, see, he hasn't been through two or three divorces. He's still young and optimistic. Yes, and so, like, he's looking <laughs> around for something good, you know. Meanwhile, I already know death is imminent, and I just like going to play my safety. <laughs> Declare bankruptcy yeah, a yeah. couple times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, Dave's in big trouble. I mean, right. nothing good. Alan Hopkins told me this 20 years ago. He says, one pocket is a race to the end rail. The guy that gets balls by his side... And the cue ball on the end rail wins. And Tyler has Dave trapped down here on the end rail. This is not good for Dave. And Dave has to gamble. Now. Well, yeah, that's right. I'm telling you, Cliff Joyner here might take a foul to the other corner over there, just nudge the cue ball over and see if the, the young whippersnapper is going to get too uh, optimistic. Because look at here. Now, how do you figure you're going to do it's here? 45 degrees. Well, I mean, my God. Well... Yeah, I mean, that that was just too hard to do. And, you know, he left a cut on the seven. It's tough. A bank. Now, nah, I think that was asking too much there. I'll commend him for the bravery, though. Yeah. I, I mean, to jack up off the end rail like that, I want no part of that. Here's the deal, though. Uh, Tyler has to risk the game yeah, to cut the seven. That's right. I, I, huh. I'll tell you, I might nudge the six over to where I'm standing and put the cue ball under the two here mm -hmm. because you're well in control of the set. Uh, that was the only shot Dave shot in the whole mat. Well, no, there was that other shot I'd like to ask him about that bank that he bank, went for, yeah. but, but really... The kicking the two. I think slight, just a slow speed nibble. Yeah, oh, I like okay. that. Really, nothing wrong with that. Now, Dave might elect to bank the seven and go into the nine and just bet the whole match on it right here. I don't even think you're betting the whole match. No. You don't have to come I out mean, of it you, bad. You don't, but, you, I mean, this can go wrong, obviously. I think right. he's driving through the nine to the end rail. I like that. Oh, oh, God. No, he can't do it. Man, he got the old. Well, he left Tyler tough. <laughs> Again. Yeah, like a year, and there's no shot I'm shooting the 13 here. And no. How about the six? Because I if might you land heavy on yes. the two, it I'm, can hurt you if I'm, you hang up the six. That's right. I would probably... Well, I'll tell you, this is uh, this is tough. Whatever you do here is tough. No, you you no chance I'm shooting this. Like, even if he makes this, I think this is the wrong shot in this situation. Too hard. It's too hard. He just hit it like God. I cannot believe how good he hit that. I guess he figured that he was going to get was here. A good shot. Well, I, he also had a little bit of angle where his cue ball was moving to the left. That's... That is a different story, but that was just a great shot. Match ball now yep. before Tyler Steyer. Boy, Tyler played good. He made some great shots. Yeah, got some good experience out Fun of Fun to too. watch. Really saw some interesting stuff come up. Mark, it was a pleasure working with you. Yeah, always a joy. That's our time for this time. Until next time, so long.